morning. Good I'm, morning. <laughs> I'm Mary. I'm Linda. We're sis Pinky Mall Sisters in the Kitchen. And uh, we've been telling y'all that uh, we have a surprise for y'all this morning. <laughs> we do. <laughs> and uh, what the surprise is, a lot of you have said, why don't my girls, uh, our girls, Linda and Carla, do uh, a show for us, a uh, cooking show. So, Linda and Carla knows how tired we were from, we've been so, so busy this week. So, they said, let us cook one day. So, that's what we said, yes, that is a great idea. So, Linda and Carla is going to cook for us today. And y'all are in for a treat. Yes, yes. We're so happy that they um, are doing this and y'all are going to really enjoy it. So, share, be sure yes. to start sharing the video. Um, and Linda, about you, the you, Linda, drawing. you brought, uh. Uh, the drawing for um, remember if they like, share, comment. Yes, if they like, share, and comment. Thank you, Linda. Carla. <laughs> <laughs> if you like, share, and comment this video. This video, whether live or replay. Yes, whether it's live or replay. So if you're watching this on replay, you still <clears throat> are in this drawing. So you have to share, like, and comment. Yes, and we're going to do. Um, we'll we'll pick someone from that group that um, we're going to give away a set of coated knives. There's five yes. knives, and that's going to be Tuesday, right? Yes, Tuesday we'll, we'll announce the winner, Tuesday. So we're going to give y'all, how long are we going to give them to do this? Well, from, from, from now today to until now Tuesday. To, to, yeah. to yeah. Tuesday. Okay, well, y'all have plenty of chance to, to like, share, and, and comment on um, follow. So um, I've got a surprise yes, for y'all. Linda came in this morning with a package that she has for us, and you know, Linda likes to, she likes to um, surprise us with little gifts. So she's got us a gift this morning. So uh, I'll put a plug in for um, one of our local stores in Jefferson, um, the Willow Tree. It's such a fantastic store. I love Paul and Colleen and Carmen and Jean and all the group there. And they um, don't sponsor us. We they just, do not sponsor yeah, us, but, we're just, uh, but, but, but I do shop there. And so, and y'all, I am a Brighton junkie. I love Brighton. Brighton. I've carried Brighton purses for years and wallets and um, they we've got keychains, yeah. uh, watches, bands, purses. Um, all so, kind. um, Carla, this one's yours and y'all can open them. And Mary, this one's yours. You. You're welcome. And Linda, this one is yours. Okay. Yay! Well, that's pretty nice. I love right when they come in these. Come over here, Linda. Carla, scoot this way. There scoot you go. This one? No, not you. Way, so you can go over there, Linda. <clears throat> this is oh. mine. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. This, this we've, got, cases. we've got Ooh. new business cards. And so she got us all a business card holder. Isn't that beautiful? I yes. hope to have them in last Just week love. for the conference that I did in. You're welcome. <laughs> And that is yours, Linda. Okay. Love it. So um, we've got something to put our business cards in now. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. Thank you. Of course, my precious sister. You. Thank you. going to feel all professional. <laughs> Makes you feel a little official. When I used to travel and we would knock on doors and we went to doors that were, they knew we were coming or they were sent correspondence. But it always made me feel good to pull out, pull out my little business right. case yeah. and give yeah. them a card. Yeah, I gave you a business card. Important. Yeah, I gave you business card holder of writing one yeah. years ago. A long time ago, yeah. and I, I still have yeah. it. Okay, well, Linda, just uh, we like to welcome. Over? Yeah, we'll welcome Linda. Come on, let me introduce you so they'll know which is which. <laughs> this is Lin little Linda, our camera lady. This is the baby of the family, and this is my oldest. Carla, and she is the one that's always uh, banning the scammers and, and all them people who tries to pick up women. So, the watch dog. She, she, so, we're role reversing today. Yes. Everybody's behind the camera and I'm behind the yes. uh, computer. So Look I'm out, probably, scammers. I'm probably not going to do as good a job as Carla does. Well, I hadn't done the camera in a long time. I, when we first started this, I've I done yeah. the camera and cooked. But it's been a long time since I've done that. But I'm going to do my best. And girls, y'all both look beautiful. Oh, yes, y'all look so pretty. Y'all do. Thank you. Okay, Linda, come take it over. You and Carl. I'm Linda. Okay. I'm Linda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Y'all making fun of us. <laughs> if y'all don't, if y'all remember. 
remember from past. Mom used to say she was Linda, even though she's married. Yeah. So. I didn't know y'all was going to make fun and, of me. <laughs> and um, if y'all haven't seen the coated knives, y'all definitely want one. I'm going to like, share, and comment just in case. So, <laughs> my favorite. Okay, so this recipe actually has a story, and this is why we decided to do it. We're making chicken spaghetti. Carly, you want to tell them why we decided? It was your idea. My mom made this years ago when we were growing up, and, um, and it was one of my favorites. I love Italian food, anything, pasta is, I mean, it's, it's me. I love it. And then I grew up and started having a family and cooking my own meal, and I tweaked it a little bit by what my husband and children liked and would eat. And, and this one is 11 years younger than me, so there's actually less age difference between her and my children than there is between her and I. And uh, so she grew up eating some of my food too by the time you know I was cooking for my family. And, um, and then she grew up and had her children and husband and she started, she tweaked it herself. Well, now that my kids are grown and cooking for their own family, they like it better, hers. <laughs> so this is a family recipe that's been tweaked basically three generations and she takes the prize, so that's what we're cooking today. I just like to eat. <laughs> it's easy cheesy. Easy cheesy chicken spaghetti. And it's delicious. So, okay, so, Mom, you want to show them? Yeah. I, last night, I boiled the chicken because it takes a long time to boil the chicken. So, I boiled the chicken at my house, and you want to show them the broth? This is the broth, and the secret to some yummy noodles is to boil new boil your noodles in the broth and it's got all the good stuff in it so if you're an actual italian you're gonna have a cow because i'm just gonna break the noodles i don't like my noodles long because i don't like it on my face so i don't know if we should i'm i'm having this recipe because i always make way too much and then we eat it all oh, week and that's I, not good for your figure. <laughs> I can eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And honestly, my kids hate it when I make it because they know we're going to be eating it for a while. So I'm trying not to make too much. And um, so we're going to go ahead. I mean, I'm going to, I'm like my mom. We're going to do something a little different. And that is um, we're going to cook all the cheese sauce. Together, we're going to heat it up together, and then we're going to add it to the noodles once the noodles are done. Because um, we don't need any more cardio. It's stirring it, stirring the cheese while it melts into the noodles is a pain in the rear. So, Carla, we can start cutting the cheese. I think we're going to start with half of a block, mm -hmm. half of that Velveeta for a start, and we can just cut it together that way we can get actually you cut it and then I will I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the sauces in the pan and we're just gonna melt the cheese together so I'm putting a cream of mushroom a can of cream of mushroom I'm probably gonna put two cans to be honest with you and I've already heated this pan so hopefully it won't take so long That's cream of mushroom? Yeah, this is cream of mushroom. I'm going to put, woo, that pan's hot. Hot tamales. All right, Linda, how much pasta did you put in the bowl? I put in, I wasn't going to put it all in, but I put a pound of pasta. And I used a thin spaghetti. Okay. Because, um, well, just, I don't know why. I just like it better. Yeah. Okay, I need the cream of chicken. Hey, Linda. Yes, ma'am. Is all the <laughs> that you need for self-love and comfort food. <laughs> Somebody's been watching TikTok. <laughs> oh, goodness. So we were trying to think of some funny stories because I know when I watch Mom and Aunt Linda, my favorite part is the silly stories. That's cream of mushroom and cream of chicken, right? And cream right? of chicken. Yeah, okay. I was going to... Um, 
I'm, I'm doing two cans of each. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do two cans of cream of chicken. Yeah, I'm doing two cans of each. You sound like you me. Can, you can tell <laughs> I'm not a recipe person. I'm a more, let's measure with love. She's her mother's daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We like, just make it as we go. Make it up as we go. Yep. I, I think food tastes better when you measure it with love instead of a, a yeah. measuring spoon. Sometimes people say, what's the measurements? We don't know what it is, and I want to comment. It's okay. We, we don't, don't either. either. <laughs> yeah, just go with it. We <laughs> don't need a <laughs> It's okay. Oh, that's what I should have done. Oh, well. I should have done half of the chicken, half of the cream of chicken, half of the cream of mushroom cheese, and then put the other stuff in there. This is, we're committed now. <laughs> and we're going to put the Rotel in last because my sweet baby asked me to. Yeah, Braden don't care for the Rotel. She has a cookie eater. So, and I can relate because I definitely am that too. Okay. Yeah, I should have done that. That's the thin spaghetti. Uh, this may be a disaster, but we'll see. How it goes. You're doing great. Okay, and then we're gonna do a whole package of sharp cheddar because that's what I like a sharp cheddar. It's eight ounces of sharp cheddar. I'm gonna try to fold this in. Hey, there's you a word. There's you a cooking word. What's that? Fold. Fold. <laughs> I'm fold it in. I'm a professional now. You know what? I've actually worked in professional kitchens before in schools. Yeah. I worked in yeah. the school kitchen yeah, you did. for several years. Yeah. And then I found out that my green pinkston, y'all's mama, yeah. also worked in the school kitchen. She did. She was over the cafeteria. I was kind of proud of that. Yeah, she was over the cafeteria. I had one more time to renew my food handler's card to have a lifetime card. Oh, is that right? Okay, let's go ahead and put some of this cheese in here. Want to use this little thing? Oh yeah, you're so fancy. <laughs> they they got like <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> That's something else that we do. Just randomly, do we both them? have we have music like songs in our head every waking minute of the day, <sighs> and whenever we. Someone says something, a song will, lyrics will just pop into our mind. We just bust out with it. It's <laughs> our, whole, our life is like a real life musical experience. <laughs> I got to tell you a funny story about that. This actually just popped up on my memories. Me and the boys, I forgot what we were doing. They were younger. And um, they said, they said the, the word love came up. And I said, some say love <laughs> is like a river. And Brayden pipes up and he says, don't fall in that river. <laughs> <laughs> He's so silly. <laughs> we were doing that yesterday with Brayden. Just random, random songs. Brayden's so fun. He is. He's, He's such a dork, though. He's a cool kid. He's not a dork. He's cool. Okay. Yeah, I should have done one can of the cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. I just didn't want my cheese. The reason I did that, y'all, is because I didn't want my um, cheese to stick. Yeah. And so I thought I would use. I have another pot like that big one. If, but I, if, now, if that's all the cheese, yeah. it'll be it'll yeah, be big enough. Uh, someone uh, mentioned uh, using metal spoons with these pans. Oh yeah. These are titanium. Okay. You can. You can use metal spoons with these. Right. Pans. So not to work. You can. You I can was. use metal spoons, but there's a, a rubber one over there if you want it. I know what we got to do. I meant to use that orange one, but then I got busy. We need to debone the chicken. Oh. Is that what this is? Yes. Let's move it over here. So, I will tell you that I know a lot of recipes tells you to use um, chicken breast. This is just my, I, I squished it. I took, I already took out the ribs and stuff. But, you want to help me? I got a sneeze. Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, I, um, you don't. <laughs> I don't use the chicken breast. And the reason is because, um, chicken spaghetti just tastes good with dark meat and white meat. I think it just needs a mixture. And I don't because I want the chicken broth to, um, 
Sorry. I want the, how can we do this? I want the chicken broth to make my noodles in. You know why she does that? Why? Because I was frugal and I didn't waste nothing and I'm the one that taught her how to cook this. Well, I just, first of all, I know I'm a weirdo. I like dark meat. Well, I had an army to feed because we were foster family and there were eight children in my home. So, you so, just can't beat the broth. Uh, all right. They want to know who is Brayden's son. Brayden is my baby. He is 16. He is homeschooled. Um, because he's super smart. And that child, <laughs> he gets up at 5 a.m. on his own every day. And by the time I'm up and conscious, he's done. If not, like this morning, I hadn't even gotten out of the bed. He said, I need three tests. And I was like, give yeah. me time. This is Meemaw's child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's work, but anyways. And then I have one more that um, he's graduating this year. Can and that is, it? it's the rudest thing he's ever done to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, that child... The graduating one is how I got uh, relocated up to the North Texas region. Um, she was having a baby, and um, I wanted that baby to know who I was. So I packed up like the Beverly Hillbillies, my whole bunch, and we moved to North Texas. And then they, they moved a few years later. And my kids, who were in high school, the older three, um, they all met boys. And uh, married and have having babies so now i got roots up there y'all you want to tell yeah. them your kids how uh, i think we've told them before but go ahead because there's some people who didn't know i got four daughters uh mindy shelly renee and miranda and i've got 11 grandchildren yes i am that old lady in the shoe <laughs> <laughs> she I loved love children yeah she I loves love children it. i love it love it love it and uh Mima, who is Mima? oh Mima is mary yes. mary lorraine <laughs> That's me, behind the camera. And Aunt Linda is called Grandma Linda, which you know what gets kind of funny is whenever we just had a new uh, son-in-law enter our family, his name is Jeff, and he was, we were all talking about going to um, Aunt Linda's house for Thanksgiving, and you know, he, he's learning everybody, and when the discussions went from uh, Grandma Linda to, uh, you know, and Uncle Mike, he was like, what kind of scoundrel, what kind of scandal is this? We've got a Grandma Linda and an Uncle Mike. How'd that happen? But it's because she's Grandma, like Mima. Every, the kids just associate them together just like y'all do. And yeah. um, he's Uncle Mike. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we, we love, love them dearly. Kids. We love the kids too. We had a wonderful Thanksgiving this year at their house. They hosted and it was amazing. Y'all saw it. Go back and watch the video if you haven't. It was because fun. It was a feast and it was amazing. The, they know how to put it together for sure. All right, you kind of abandoned me over here, little sister. I know, I'm just starting. And how many kids do each of y'all have? I know y'all just answered that question. but I have two. Carla has four. She's got the boys and I've got the girls. Yep. And how many grandchildren do you have, Carla? Eleven. I've got eleven. I have none. <laughs> and she I will, though. My she, kids are so weird, no one's going to want to marry them. <laughs> I can't They're wait. Because you know what? I predict y'all can record this so we can come back and see. I predict she's going to have a granddaughter Aww. that looks exactly like her with the Whoa. curls, Aww. the big blue eyes. And then I'm going to get to repeat back some of the words that she, advice she's given me <laughs> about, <girl. laughs> about grandbabies. And, yeah. Are you kidding me? Grandbabies are the only reason I haven't killed my children. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to get any. <laughs> you will. <laughs> well, Every time. Well, they don't actually... When my kids were preteens, they would smart back, but now they don't. I don't know why. Well, I they think it's just, just a just yeah. a stage, Linda, because yeah. yeah. you went through that I'm stage glad. too. Yeah, I'm glad. In fact, um, one of my boys um, was a little harsh on the phone with me, and then he called me back and he said, "I'm sorry." Aww. I, like, oh. I, I didn't. I made him think. Well, you should, but. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, that's so sweet. Of course I forgive you. And he didn't say anything ugly. He was just 
being a teenager. He just didn't want to talk to me. It was car stuff. He's graduating, so, you know, insurance and being a grown-up stinks. So <laughs> That's what he was thinking. Yeah. Like, what all he's going to have to pay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It, it was, well, car insurance is about to go up. and Well, anyways. My youngest daughter, Miranda, is a... Uh, this one made over. Oh, she's she, my baby. She is so total. Every every day, there's something that she says or does, and it is so identical to my sister. It's like, how did this happen that I birthed this child? But she is nothing like me. She is my sister made over, and well, I love it. I was 17 when she was born. Yeah, so it was really like she was. She my actually baby. was named after her and. Aunt Linda and Mama, I took the letters of these three ladies' names, which is Linda, L-Y-N-D-A, and Linda, L-I-N-D-A, and Mary, M-A-R-Y, and wrote them on a paper and just played with it until I made the name Miranda with those letters, and that's how she got, that's how she got her okay. name. Miranda. Miranda. All right, let me show. We're fixing to drain this, okay, and I'm I will tell you what... I tell I them learned. about that pot. That okay, so this pot, what size pot is this? This thing? is a five quart. That's five the five quart. quart. And then this is the strainer that goes with the nine quart. Nine quart. So I was cooking with this pot. I didn't realize that this strainer didn't go with this. So this is what I figured out. If you put it in a groove, like the first groove, you put it like that, and then you hold it over, and it just it it snaps on perfectly, and then you just drain. Now I don't think it was intended for that. But rules are just suggestions. And I think I blew all the water out of it. <laughs> That's a great tip. Yeah. Great idea. Okay, we're going to put this here so the noodles don't burn. I think I can use... Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I was, I'm, not, I'm not very good at this camera. No, well, that's, that's why I think it would be... We'll appreciate y'all and y'all will appreciate us better. That's it noodles that and is I spaghetti normally put olive oil in it but i think since we're going to go ahead and normally when i boil i put a little virgin olive oil to keep them from sticking but um i think and that's we'll your just, cheese and your soups yes and it worked out just fine carla you want to continue your oh good because they want to know where the pots are from pampered chef and i'm gonna be straight up honest with you guys when mom and Aunt Linda uh, was, you know, they were getting all the Pamper Chef stuff, I was like, I have my pants. They're 20 years old. But I was like, they work. No big deal. Like, I really wasn't into it. And then I came over and used one of mom's, and I was like, I need all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I need all of them. They really are as good as people say they, they are. are. Like, they are. It's not, I would tell you straight up. Well, I wouldn't tell you at all. I'd be like, eh, they're good. But they really are as good as they say they are. Yes, they are. So, and they want to know again, which one's the oldest? Carla is 11 years older. This is Carla. She's, well, I was speaking to you how old she was, but. I don't care. I'm 53 <laughs> years young. Yeah. And little Linda, you going to tell how old you are? Well, we just told Carla was 40. <laughs> if they can do math, they already know. I'm 42. <laughs> Let's go ahead and mix it up. Carla, we can go ahead and start putting, um, the we, chicken. yeah, let's go ahead and start putting the chicken. So, me and Carla, um, we're sisters. We, we were together a lot, and we had some funny stories. Carla, you want to tell them about, um, I was seven. Carla was pregnant with her first child, Mindy. <laughs> And I went to stay with her for a little bit, and she had a, was it a Camaro? I, I want to say it was a Camaro. Yeah. yeah. Um, Carly, you want to tell them about it? Well, we broke down, and it was uh, June in South Texas hot on the coast, Gulf Coast. the devil. Yeah, it's humid, hot, you name it. It was miserable. And uh, we broke down on the side of the road, and this big construction vehicle, and I mean, it was huge, like you had to climb up in it, pulled over and wanted to give us assistance. And this child um, was taught very well by our mother about stranger danger. I don't think anyone taught me about stranger <laughs> danger. It was just, I just had it, it in spades. Yeah, well, so she, uh, she wasn't having it. She, no. she did not want any part of getting in a vehicle with this strange man south of Houston, Texas, and she 
she was, was the cutest little thing. I was she shaming. was so tan and had this long blonde hair, and she stood there and stomped her foot, crossed her little arms, and she said, I'm telling Mama. I, we didn't have cell phones back then. She says, but I'm going to call her. I'm telling our Mama this isn't right. We're not, this is dangerous. And we don't know. She said, do you know him? I said, no, I don't. And she says, well, why are we getting in the truck with him? I said, because it's hot. And we ain't getting no other help, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna oh, get a ride. I just knew we were gonna end up on 60 Minutes. She was so mad. <laughs> she, was so mad. <laughs> she was the angriest child you ever seen. She was not having it. But we did, and we didn't get murdered. We're still here. That was in Angleton, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, no, I think it was Alvin. 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 Okay. Which was like a suburb of Houston. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, she was not a happy camper. And y'all's outfits? Where did y'all get y'all's outfits? Ladies Maine and Co. Yep. Maine, Maine and Co. Company. Maine yep. and Co. They that was at the ladies' conference. Yeah. yeah. They had a vendor booth there. Yeah. That was really a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Was work. We had a good time, work. didn't we? Yeah. I really enjoyed it. It was good I really fellowship, great services. I love yeah. the singing, the music, the speakers were awesome. It was awesome. So, one time, we were on our way to church. This was several years later in Angleton, and uh, we went to uh, Pastor Jim Green's church in Angleton. We loved their family. Their family was like our family. We just loved I them I still so feel much. like they're our family. I do, too. And you know, at the ladies' conference, I got to see uh, Diane. I she know. She was my best friend, yeah. and it was so wonderful. To see her. Did you see the picture? I got a picture of Diane and Carla in 2012. Yeah. For holding hands praying. And then I got another one this year, 2022, 10 yeah. years later, of y'all holding hands praying. She really is my forever yeah. friend. We're just yeah. like, I don't know. It's just There's just a connection there. You cannot see her for a decade and then see her again. And it's like you never yeah. missed. You don't skip a beat. It's just a connection that is wonderful. She's getting this out for Braden before she adds a uh, Rotel. Because he's spoiled. I know, but that's okay. I do his grilled cheeses just the way he likes them. You can see this makes a boatload of stuff. Oh, I want to show y'all my green beans. And that's beans. half the recipe, right, Linda? Um, well... Did you add more? I think... Um, the ingredients was... I think I normally add more cheese. Uh-huh. Like, I think I, I, yeah, I think I normally add more cheese. But, honestly, looks good. I don't think, I don't think it ended up being half, I don't know how to make half a recipe. <laughs> I'm like my mama. Oh, I yeah. tried to make half a recipe. Hey, we need to throw these in the microwave. Okay, so, this is my go-to, my go-to veggies. I don't like the can, which there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't like the can. And I, um... The, the fresh just takes too long. I don't have, so I buy this. It's a good compromise, but I'm going to show you what I do with it. I'm going to put it in the microwave for five minutes, and then when it comes out, I'll show you how I season it, and it's perfection. So, um, and it's really, I really, like, appreciate Mom and Aunt Linda uh, cooking. It's hard when you're the one doing the recipe Carly, like, get her a little closer so we can get both of them. It's hard to, like, tell someone, hey, you do this and you do that, because we're trying to share it. But it's really hard when you're the one that does it. You're just used to doing it. But then if we ever do this again, I'm going to be Carla's sous chef. <laughs> and Carla's going to make a, a recipe. And but, it's, it's hard doing y'all's jobs, too, girls. <laughs> yeah, it I'm is. I'm not sure what kind it of is. job I'm doing over here. Ugh. I think it's kind of funny. That's Linda. Yeah. She's behind the camera. <laughs> she's, she's, me today. she's doing the computer work. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny that uh, out of all of these girls in this little group, I'm the only one that's shy by nature. <laughs> None of these women are shy. They actually thrive with, you know, just they're social. They're just social creatures. And, uh, I'm not. <laughs> You're doing great. It's You're not doing my great. Comfort zone yeah. at all. But I do enjoy being with them very much. 
Oh, I enjoy the girls being here. All four of us. I mean, this is heaven on earth. <laughs> I enjoy being here too. Mama's porch is magical. Not like in a real wicked, not, you know, weird way. Just birds. You hear birds singing one time. Mm -hmm. My cousin called me Grace and she, uh, she said, uh, what's going on? Where are you at? It sounds like a Cinderella Snow White situation, all the birds. She could hear the birds singing, you know, chirping in the background. And I said, that's exactly what it is. My mom, mama's porch. I said, you should come over. <laughs> and we just laughed. Having coffee on mama's porch is an experience. It's wonderful. She's got this view across the street of uh, these rolling hills. It's beautiful. Very peaceful. Um, what are y'all showing the can of bro tail? Okay. Yes. Actually, here. here you can get store brands of that too. Yeah. Anything with the uh, with the uh, diced tomatoes and green chilies. Rotel is the brand name. I think Hunts has one. Yeah. Del Monte, but it's diced tomatoes with green chilies. I'm not doing that very professional. <laughs> All right, being a wife. <laughs> okay. Carly, you want to get two bowls out? So, sure. What was your favorite memory of us when we were growing up? I will tell you mine, and that way you can think of yours. Like this? Yeah, just some for to serve our chicken spaghetti in. Oh. Spices, Linda. Did you put Did you put oh. the spices in? Yes. Yeah, so I did this. You know what? We can add some more salt and pepper. Actually. What kind of spices did you put I'll in tell it? You. Okay. Um, so. When I, I put it all in the broth and then the noodles soak it up, I put onion powder, not onion powder, onion, what is it called? Yeah, it They're is. kind of flakes. Is that powder though? Uh, that it's is, onion. that's three onion. That's Pampers Chef. You can put onion powder or that. It's three onions is what that is. Okay, so I put onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. But I'm going to taste it to see what it needs. Because, like I said, we just, I measure with love. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. I really don't think it needs anything else because, like I said, the noodles soaked up. I had a boatload. When I do my chicken, when you put in the measuring, and I can't tell you how much. I wish I could tell you how much. It really is just, but put what you think you should and then double it. When you're, do, when you're doing the, because uh, I really put a boatload of seasoning when I boiled my chicken. That way that broth, you saw that broth. And I even, you didn't, I don't know if I showed or if, if it was shown, but the noodles soaked up all that water. It was very little to drain because it just soaked up all the seasoning. Because and stuff. Broth. Yeah, it just soaked up all the seasoning. So this, I didn't add anything else to it. Just the cheese, all the ingredients. And then the noodles that had all of the seasonings in it. So, um, but then I'm excited to show you my green bean. So, if you want some good home cooking, go to my mama. If you <laughs> want a good baked item, like baked cakes and stuff, you go, I mean, they can cook both, but I'm just saying <laughs> their specialty. Go to Aunt Linda. She is the good baker. If you want your yeah. plate plated beautifully, if you want your food to look beautiful, Go to her. If you want fast, cheap, and easy, you go to me. <laughs> that did not come out the way I meant it to. <laughs> fast, cheap, and easy. You heard it. <laughs> so, <I> heard it here. <laughs> okay, so this is what I do. And it really is. It just perfect. Okay. So, I have my steamed veggies. I open it up. I'm going to put a little. And honestly, I do. I just do whatever smells good. So, I put a little garlic. In there, I'm gonna put a little onion powder. Where's a little spoon for this? In there. I'm gonna put a little pepper. I don't think it needs a lot of pepper. A little pepper. I don't wanna mix. I feel like I'm painting here. And I like a lot of salt on my green beans, so we're gonna put a lot of salt. And then I roll it up. Shake, 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 shake your booty, shake your booty, and you then, don't have copyrights to this music. <laughs> and then it's all nice and seasoned. Ooh, that looks good. And delicious. I'll move it around. But then it's evenly coated, 
It's so good. And you don't put any butter or anything on them? I'm not trying to die of a heart attack at 50. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I don't put butter on there. Okay. <laughs> and I'm just joking. Sometimes, my family knows I'm joking, but I feel like maybe other people may not know. But I'm just joking. Well, it's good. So, um, favorite memory growing up. So, I'll tell you mine. Mine was, so Carla already said she had foster kids. And it felt like she had like 20 kids at all times. <laughs> she drove a humongous bus. And remember, I'm yeah. a teenager, young adult during this time. 15 passenger bus. It was 10 years. It was my personal vehicle. Yeah, it was huge. <laughs> so, we were poor. I don't even think, sometimes, I don't even think your the van had air conditioning. It was hot. <laughs> we were dying. It probably didn't in the back. You know, it probably was all blown. I was in the front, and I didn't have no air conditioning. <laughs> Yeah, it's the coast. <laughs> so, anyways, so we, um, well, there's two, three memories about that van. I don't know why, but my most vivid memories have to do, probably because I was traumatized with no air. <laughs> but anyways, so, um, the one time, we were so poor, we, um, we went in and we scraped pennies for a candy bar, and we split that candy bar, I think, six ways, eight ways, whatever kids was in there, plus that us. day must have been a respite weekend because it was just our our girls and, and you and me. So it was six. Mm -hmm. yeah. We split a Hershey's bar six ways. And we said then, one of these days we're going to look back and we're going to laugh. Because now we obviously can go buy candy everyone bar. in the car a candy <laughs> bar. Like, we don't have to share. But at that time, we, we knew then we would laugh about that. Yeah. But, um... Me and my sister, I don't know if it's because we're old. We, we have argued. We don't now that we're older. I think we're just tired. But um, one time we were at the gas station, and um, we were arguing. I don't know what we were arguing about. Me either. But if you know me, you know I was loud. <laughs> so we were arguing, and Carla went in to pay. One of the guys felt so bad for us. He paid for our gas. <laughs> somewhere and singing that's where we learned to do that song with granny yeah and um and stuff like that and so that's really those were good times we laugh about them now at the time I thought I'm never gonna make it through this is I'm gonna die <laughs> but um now it's funny mm -hmm. and we um it's just fun I, I'm glad for those times so what was your favorite memory from when we were growing up or whatever there's just so many of them that I think that it's more like a collection, a collage of experiences. And they all, in one way or another, are centered around, uh, like you said, lots of children. And either softball, because all my girls played softball, or church. Church was a major part of our life. And back in those days... It was all about dressing up. You had Martha miniature dresses, which was those real full frilly petticoat and ruffle socks and big, you know, bows. Not as big as some of the bows they do today, but <laughs> like they, they were dolled up. Yes, they were very, very dolled up all the time. Mama and Aunt Linda kept my girls supplied with these Martha miniature dresses, and I took very good care of them and handed them to my cousin Grace, who had two daughters. So you're talking about the each dress would get like five kids of use. It was worth it. So they were looking at it as an investment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dressing these children. But um, singing, um, lots and lots of memories of us. Like I said, just busting out in songs. Whether it was a good day or a bad day or a funny day or whatever day. Um, just random songs. Something that we did that we still do is, uh, I think it's called on TikTok or whatever, parodies where you take a song that's popular and you just make your own words to it that's necessary today because there's a lot of inappropriate words and songs out there today but back then we just did it for the fun of it and we made our own little um 
songs. Hers were always spiritual and uplifting. Mine was always inappropriate. Not like in a bad way, but like, you know, bodily functions and stuff like that. No. My latest was the, there is a river that keeps flowing from my face. No, I'm kidding. Aww. Aww, but it makes me <laughs> laugh. <laughs> I can't help it. I don't know if it's hormones or life situation or a combination of it all, but that's the, that's the situation. <laughs> well. So I think yeah. Linda said um, yeah. she wanted us to sing a song, but we did not prepare a song. If you can think of one, I'm down, but I love to make a fool of myself and have in front of hundreds of people. Oh, God. This is my favorite. <laughs> so if you can think of something, the only song I have in my head is the song I was singing. So uh, earlier today. If you want to try that, we can. If not... I don't know if I can harmonize and breathe right here, but <laughs> we can. Just give it right, just a like line that. or two. Okay. Peace, peace, wonderful peace coming down from the Father. Y'all did good on Spare of the Moment we like that. Y'all did good. We can practice. In yeah. fact, we're going to be practicing today and tomorrow because we're singing at a funeral. My dad's sister passed away, and um, someone called that your aunt. We'll be on our way, we'll be on our way to, the, to a, my sister-in-law's funeral tomorrow. Yeah, and so we will be singing at that funeral, and we will practice and do our best. In honor of her memory, we loved her very, very right. much. My daddy loved her very, very that much. That was your dad's oldest sister. Yes, his only older sister. The rest of them were much younger than him, and she um, sent me birthday cards pretty much my whole life, and I loved her dearly. Her that's, and her children. That's um, how my kids remember them. She, um, they said, is that the one that sends us the $2 bills? <laughs> Yes, well, if y'all don't uh, serve up that food, uh, really? Linda's Linda's going to have all those beans eat. <laughs> <laughs> They're good. <laughs> and they're healthy for you. All right. Here, I'm getting a bowl for each of us. I won't put much in case y'all don't want much, but I'm going to make a bowl for each of us. I won't put much in case y'all don't want much, but... Um, so we each can try this. Yeah. We're, we didn't take up an hour, but um, almost an hour. Yeah. And yes, that is... Linda talking in the background for those who have asked. <laughs> yes. Okay. Here, y'all want to try this, Mom and Linda? I will. I'll film. Well, no, y'all go ahead and taste. It. It. I'll taste it later, cause uh, I'm. I don't want to. You know? Are you scared? If you're scared. No, you're I'm not afraid. I'm not delicious. afraid to eat your food, so Linda. You cook delicious. You may want to add more salt and pepper. Mm. But I like it. It's very cheesy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew it was cheesy. That's that's the one big difference of Linda's chicken spaghetti and mine. Because mm. it's really oh, cheesy. Good. Really cheesy. And you see how I cut them? Because I don't like the long ones. I know Italians would make fun of me for that, but... Oh, and the green bean. Mm. Very I good. love frozen green beans. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Delicious, girls. I'll hold oh. the camera like very tight. No, uh... We can do it later. Am I the only one? I like a small utensil. You see how that's bigger? Yeah. One of like them's a dinner fork and one of them's a salad fork, Linda. Well, I eat small <laughs> all of them. This is good. It's good. Like I said, some people may want a little salt and pepper in it, but... I thought of a memory. What? This little sister of mine has high-class taste, y'all. Mm -hmm. she, she's joking when she says... Cheap and easy and all that, that ain't true. She's being funny because she took me to my first ever, like, five-star restaurant on the 20th floor <laughs> in Corpus Christi. And we're just, I mean, I'm talking fancy, fancy. I am so out of place. Get a little closer to me. And uh, um, they have silverware, like, lots of silverware laid out in front of you. And they're, you don't know which one, or I didn't know which one to use. 
and I must have used the wrong one because our server come and promptly removed them all. And I'm like, oh, okay. my goodness. <laughs> okay. I just eat with my fingers over here. No, I didn't. They brought me whatever. But anyways, it was a wonderful experience, beautiful, delicious food, and they don't rich folks don't bring you a plate of food they like to bring you one item at a time like you get your well, that's side what she eats you get your side time. you <laughs> get your another side you get your entree you get your bread you get your soup you get your salad all it makes a two hour long meal <laughs> experience and i think they do that so you feel like you get your money's worth because it was cool. so expensive the funny part of that story is we were staying at the hotel yeah. at, that this restaurant was at, and it, the view the views were beautiful, mm -hmm. and I'm so glad we went. But we're we're like I come in and she's getting dressed up, y'all, like like a date or something. <laughs> like she's getting dressed up. I am wearing leggings, yeah. a t-shirt, and some like flip flops, and I'm like. I'm not changing. I'm comfortable. <laughs> and, like, I don't care. I feel like if we're all there, we all can afford it, and I'm going to be me. Anyways, but it was funny because she was all dressed up, and I was like, I'm going in a T-shirt. Like, I'm tired. <laughs> We've been, we we had went to the museum. We had mm -hmm. done a bunch of stuff, and I was like, I'm going in my T-shirt and Brandon my legging. You. Yeah. Well, that child isn't getting out of his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care who you no. are or where you were at. I guess maybe he got that from me because I was like, well, you but it was not me. You used to dress to the couch. I know, but then I got old. <laughs> well, the I still like to. You still no, like I to like to dress up. up. I do too. But if we're on vacation, the high heels are staying home. I'm bringing out the t-shirts and the... Well, we're going to Puerto Rico. And one and of the... Are, yeah, one of the... One of the events or something mm -hmm. is... You're supposed to wear formal wear. I've never worn formal wear that one of my kids wasn't getting married, so that's going to be interesting. <laughs> well, you don't have to, though. But I want to. Yeah, well, that's what an opportunity. That. You should. I'm going to. Well, Linda, you want to come over here and... and um, y'all, I'll, I'll yeah. record and y'all can finish it up. And we uh, wrap this up. Uh, we thank y'all for tuning in with us today. Um, I think the girls did a great job. They did a wonderful job. I think job. they did a great job. And, and it is different when you have to get behind the camera. It so, is. And it's so, different behind the computer, too. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we appreciate y'all uh, staying with us and, and watching our video to the end. We'll be uh, popping on more frequently. Uh, we're going to try to do that with different things. Uh, I think we may pop on tomorrow and, uh, and then Saturday. Uh, we want to be oh, yes. sure to uh, invite everyone that is in the surrounding area of Longview, um, Kilgore, Kilgore Tyler. Tyler, Marshall, whatever. Uh, Pinky Mile Sisters in the Kitchen is going to be at the Farmer's Market in Kilgore Saturday morning from 9 to 1 o'clock with the booth. We have a booth set up. So if you are want to come out and meet us, we will have uh, cookbooks and mama's books, cups and aprons to sell, and we will sign the books, uh, you know, if, if, uh, if you want us to. So don't forget to come out and meet us, uh, and we'd like to see you. We we'd see faces, see and we'd love to see y'all. Carthage, so, Henderson, wherever right. you're at in the, in the area that you want to come out. And, right. um, uh, There'll be a lot of other booths there. They, yes, got, they got goat's milk soap. It's going to be there. Skin care made out of goat uh, milk. They're going to have uh, bakery items. I have a friend in church. They have bakery items there. Um, the cottage, uh, lemon cottage house will be there. And um, there's wrought, wrought iron things that people have made out of wrought iron. It's a variety. So I think you would enjoy the day, uh, the four, little four hours, that you could see a lot of different products besides ours. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Thank you, Linda. Um, everyone that watches this video and likes, shares, and comments between now and Tuesday morning will draw before we're live on Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock Central Time. We'll be at my house. Uh, we're going to draw for a set of coating knives. It's five knives. I think they're $79. $79. Uh, so we want, we want you to tell your, we have a lot of, people that watch us are, that are our age, our generation, and, and some older and some younger, but we want you to invite your 
your granddaughters, your your great granddaughters, your nieces and nephews, um, whoever that you know that loves to cook or loves to talk about uh, good wholesome things, uh, invite them to watch our page, and you will be in that drawing. So we also will be giving away our one of our uh, Pinky Mouse aprons Tuesday. For March. Well, March birthday. So yes. anyone Thank that has agree. a March birthday, text it to our business phone number. All you got to do, but you have to put your phone number on there because if, if your number comes up for the winner and we don't have a telephone number, we have no way of contacting you. So we have to go to a different number. So your name and the day, not the date, the day of your birthday in March and a telephone number. Text it to 903-235-488. Oh, four. But give us a minute to get yeah, off because right. we, we film on that phone. So And that's the only place that we take birthday uh, uh, yes, entries. So don't forget to do that. Thank y'all again for watching us. I think the girls did a great job. They we will be back Tuesday. But we'll be on live again sometime tomorrow and then some and then Saturday at our booth, Farmer's yeah. Market. So we'll see you again in a we couple days. We love y'all. Be sure to count your blessings. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye.